the headlines. The actor Alec Baldwin is to be charged with involuntary manslaughter after a fatal shooting on the set of the film Rust. The family of the cinematographer who was shot dead said they supported the decision, but Alec Baldwin's lawyer says it represents a terrible miscarriage of justice. Growing pressure on NATO countries to send more tanks to Ukraine, we have a special report from the front line. Very active front lines this morning. We're very close to Solidar, seized by the Russians in the last few days. Shock and surprise. World leaders express their disbelief after New Zealand's Prime Minister announces she's stepping down. And the harrowing anti-war epic All Quiet on the Western Front leads the nominations for this year's British Academy Film Awards. But at least one football fan has been killed and 60 others injured in a crush outside a stadium in the southern Iraqi city of Basra. It happened as tens of thousands of fans headed to the Basra International Stadium to watch Iraq play Oman in the final of the Arabian Gulf Cup. The Indian Foreign Ministry has described a BBC documentary on the Prime Minister Narendra Modi as propaganda that questions his leadership during the 2002 Gujarat riots. The BBC says its documentary was rigorously researched. British actor Julian Sands, widely known for popular films and TV dramas, including A Room with a View, 24 and Smallville, disappeared last Friday while hiking in the San Gabriel Mountains, north of Los Angeles. Ground teams were forced to abandon their search at the weekend due to avalanche risks, but will resume when conditions improve. A car belonging to Mr. Sands has been found near to where he was reported missing. Well, before we go, preparations have begun for the Lunar New Year this weekend, marked by communities all over the world. China's celebrations will include a rabbit-themed musical gala on television. Rehearsals are, in fact, underway right now. And in China, it's the Year of the Rabbit, considered the luckiest of the 12 zodiac animals, representing peace and longevity. There are already a huge array of rabbit-themed baked goods and toys being sold in shops in other countries. Like Vietnam, it'll be the Year of the Cat. The festival begins on Sunday and many will be traveling to spend time with their families. Gong Si Fa Chai to all of them. America's Federal Aviation Administration says the computer issue, which led to more than 11,000 flights being disrupted last week, was not caused by a cyber attack. It says its investigation pointed to staff unintentionally deleting files while synchronizing databases. A spokesperson said the system has now been made more resilient. Police in the UK are investigating claims that the Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, committed an offence after social media footage appeared to show him riding as a passenger in a moving car without wearing a seatbelt. It can be punished with a $600 fine. Downing Street has apologised for what it says was a brief error of judgement. To Pakistan now, where the former Prime Minister Imran Khan has warned that his country could follow Sri Lanka with an economic collapse if there is not a general election early this year. Mr Khan was ousted in a vote of no confidence last April but is still politically active and his critics say he is making the situation worse. Now, France has been hit by a nationwide strike affecting travel, finance, education and other sectors in a protest organised by unions against pension reform plans. There were some scuffles and clashes with police in Paris. Other major cities also saw marches and demonstrations. Organisers say they are opposed to raising the state pension age from 62 to 64. President Macron says it's the best way to ensure the system remains affordable.